For today, in the name of freedom, we take the battle to them. Godzilla and Kong the New Empire allowed us to see the return of Mothra, a fan favorite titan, not only from the Toho films, but from King of the Monsters by itself. And I think that her sacrifice is definitely one of the most emotional parts of King of the Monsters, even though I would have preferred to have had Mothra in more of the movie. Here, yeah, this was a horrendous decision, in my opinion. I see absolutely no reason to bring Mothra back, as I feel like you could have had Godzilla and Kong work together without her, because essentially, that is all she w was there to do in the movie. She didn't really help in the final battle. All she did was, like, spray the silk over Shimo's face when she was freezing Godzilla. That's literally all she did. And apart from that, you know, oh well, the final battle, obviously. Um, but outside of the final battle, only thing she did was, you know, uh, calm Godzilla down. She makes him go from angry to less angry. You know, it was just really, really annoying. And, you know, it just goes to show that there was no reason to bring Mothra back. But I was very excited when we started hearing the rumors about Mothra coming back through the toys and everything like that. But it is the execution of it that is, that is making me make this comparison in the title. And that's with Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I never thought in a million years I would be making a Star Wars comparison because it took me to 2024, basically halfway through 2024, to watch Star Wars. Um, but now that I have, obviously, I understand why people were so pissed off with Palpatine coming back because it basically completely undoes what Vader did. But everything apart from that, uh, basically, he returned. It made no sense. Somehow, Palpatine returned. That is essentially what has happened with Mothra. Uh, because, like I said, I would have been fine with her coming back if they had done it the proper way. And this is precisely why I'm happy that Adam Wingard is gone. Because he just seems to kind of not really care about the previous movies. You know, we have seen little to no connection to Kong Skull Island, which is interesting because Kong is like 95% of the fucking monster verse now. It's just the Kong verse. Godzilla is just there as an extra cameo. But anyway, I'm not getting into that. That's for another video. But yeah, Mothra coming back. It was hinted at in King of the Monsters, the same movie she died in, uh, that there is an egg. Obviously, if you watch the credits, you'll see that one of the articles uh, was talking about a Mothra egg. So, of course, that's what, you know, we were like, oh, okay, Mothra's egg is going to hatch. Adam Wingard just kind of said, yeah, uh, no, no, we're going to bring her back in a less logical way. Because what I believe uh, I, I've heard is that Mothra, like, if she lays an egg and, like, if she dies then her consciousness gets transferred into the egg, if that makes sense. So basically, it's the same Mothra, just being reborn constantly. But that, that's just what I've been told, okay? It could be wrong, it could very well be wrong. But yeah, that's just what I've been told. In this movie, they're like, uh, yeah, uh, Gia will just put her finger at the top of the pyramid thing, and then she'll just materialize back to... <laughs> back to life <laughs> made zero freaking sense and the thing is the reason why i'm comparing it to emperor palpatine is because they both undid sacrifices you know obviously as i said earlier palpatine coming back undoes the like darth vader's redemption because he died by killing the emperor and the Emperor was the one who basically, you know, well, not basically, he was the reason that Anakin became Darth Vader. He manipulated him and everything like that. With, and obviously, Vader's sacrifice, Anana. With Mothra, that sacrifice was obviously herself. She sacrificed herself, and that is ultimately what ended up, you know, allowing Godzilla to kill King Ghidorah, who realistically, you know, let's be honest, I've heard people say it, 
God, Ghidorah should have been like a fifth movie villain, you know, like later on for a second Godzilla movie. It was a bit too much. But yeah, Mothra sacrificed herself. And then obviously we were all, you know, really sad. But of course, happy because her death wasn't like for nothing. She ended up helping. Um, but yeah, now she's back and it completely undoes that sacrifice. Again, I wouldn't have been as annoyed if they had just, you know, done it the way King of the Monsters hinted at, which is having her, you know, hatch out of an egg. But yeah, somehow Mothra returned. It made zero sense because with Palpatine, at least you could somewhat guess as to how he came back. You know, I mean, it's in like even uh, in the scene when Oscar Isaac says that, you know, somehow Palpatine returned. Uh, in the same scene, someone mentions something about a clone. And so obviously you can, you know, guess that Palpatine cloned himself, which, you know, fair enough. Of course, that would make sense. With Mothra, there is absolutely no reason. <laughs> there is no way anyone, especially Adam Wingard, none of them can explain how Mothra came back. They just wanted to tie Gia into Godzilla's history somehow. It literally, they were like, okay, you know, for this movie, we're going to bring Mothra back. How are we going to do it? I don't fucking know. Just have the Kong girl walk up and, you know, Mothra will just appear. You know, she just magically materializes out of thin air, which this is precisely why I'm happy Adam Wingard is gone. I can't be doing this ridiculous, you know, over the top goofy shit with the monster bus. Okay. I'm not against it. I was actually quite excited for this because I knew what this movie was going to be like. But it was too much, you know, especially coming from like King of the Monsters and Godzilla vs. Kong. Jumping to this where monsters' sacrifices don't even mean anything and they can just come back. I don't know. Obviously, in terms of like what the character's revival had done, like the damage it had done, uh, I think that Palpatine coming back is definitely more annoying because, of course, Vader's sacrifice, you know, was on a different level to Mothra's. Uh, Mothra, in the grand scheme of things, obviously she already loved Godzilla. She was Godzilla's well, mate, I assume. I don't really know how to word that in a non-weird way. But yeah, she was basically Godzilla's mate. So obviously it would make sense for her to sacrifice. With Darth Vader, obviously they spent the whole of Return of the Jedi, Luke just being the annoying son, and being like, I know there's good in you, Father. I know there's good. I know it. You you just don't see it. You you there's good in you, which yeah, obviously it did really annoy me. I'm sorry. That that's just something that annoyed the hell out of me through the last Jedi. I understand. Oh, sorry, not the last Jedi. You idiot. Return of the Jedi. You know, it's like okay, well, there's good in him. Boom. But yeah, in terms of their presence, in terms of what they did once they were brought back. Uh, Palpatine definitely takes that, in my opinion, uh, because, you know, while yes, he did reuse, obviously, his line from uh, Revenge of the Sith, you know, like when he's talking to Anakin, you know, he's like, there's ways of the Force some consider to be unnatural. Obviously, that's the first thing he says when he's on screen. Uh, but for the rest of the movie, he at least looks cool, you know, he looks cool. His powers seem to be the same as ever. Well, the same as ever, you fucking idiot. The same as usual. Well, Mothra, she just did nothing. You know, there was nothing to make us love Mothra again. Nothing to make us happy that she's back. You know, she was just there. So yeah, um, two completely different franchises. Different consistency, I'll tell you that much. Uh, with Star Wars, first three were okay. Sorry, I, I know that's going to trigger people. But first three were okay. Next three were fucking amazing holy shit uh and then the you know last three were just crap with the monster verse you have 2014 godzilla movie which you know i hate the movie i hate it but i know that there are people that love it for logical reasons like the tone and stuff so of course that is not a bad movie okay solid kong skull island amazing king of the monsters fantastic zilla versus kong absolutely phenomenal and then Godzilla and Kong the New Empire is... Eh. Yes, I'm very much a Godzilla fan, if you could not tell already. Yeah, a Kong fan would look at the New Empire and go, Oh my god, this is the best thing in the world. Holy shit. But why is Godzilla in it? So yes, uh, I am comfortable in saying that I think Mothra's 
return was less logical than Palpatine's because, yeah, that just made zero freaking sense. I guess the only thing Mothra gets is that she was in like a, a decent movie, you know, like an okay movie at best with Palpatine being in a utter piece of shit. Like, holy crap. So, yeah. Um, please let me know your thoughts on this really strange comparison. I'm probably the only person in the world who looks at the, looks at the monster verse, you know, looks at Mothra and goes, you know what, Star Wars. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it just it made sense to me to make this, considering that the you know the scene itself m made no sense at all. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, uh, on how somehow Mothra returned. If you did enjoy this video for some reason, please leave a like, subscribe, and goodbye.